Today I'm going to test out the Hind or Hind gloves, H-I-N-D. There's a nice little clasp that holds them together. And these are actually women's gloves, but they, they look unisex. Uh, this is a nice feature. There's a little light on it. And which is good when you start races really early in the morning and you go to the job Johnny and there's no light in there. Um, sometimes we get to the race sites well before sun up, so that'll be good. Um, what we got, got here is a glove and then a mitten cover. And then the mitten cover can be tucked down in a pocket here. That's pretty nice. You can also, the forefinger and the thumb can be used to swipe on phones. So I'll be able to use my iPhone to record without taking off my glove. So that is the plan. Let's see how these fit. I'm gonna try them out right now, I'll do a couple miles out on the trail. Let's see if this works. Okay, as you can see, I'm running and I'm operating my camera and I did so with these gloves, these hind or hind gloves. The warm up I did with the mitten on and I noticed that I like these rubberized strips right here for grabbing my water bottle. That was really good. So far so good. Um, I didn't have any missteps in uh, plugging in my password on the phone and, and pressing record. So yeah, so far so good. I'm doing Yazos right now. This is a recovery after my warm up, <laughs> a recovery for my warm up. And then it was kind of a quick warm up. I did an 830 mile. Not that fast, but faster than a normal warm up. I'm gonna do, once I get to the mile and a half mark, I'm gonna run a half mile pretty quick. I'm gonna after do a couple of run, I was able to open the door with my keys, no fumbling around. By comparison, I used to run with these gloves. I could have never done that. Uh, and these gloves, I had to take them off before I went for my keys. And I even, you know, I was able to uh, blow my nose with a tissue and, uh, you know, just just like not having gloves on. So these were pretty good. They were $12 at TJ Maxx. So they, I think they originally retailed for 30 So there you have it. Say something. I'm uh, running circles around Kitty as she's walking. I run out like this. Run back like this. Run out like this. Oh, we gotta go that way. That's a mile. One mile of doing that. It's our last night here in the States. We are enjoying some beer. This is the Golden Monkey Belgian style triple with added spice. And my wife has a Samuel Adams. Cold Snap, also a white ale brewed with spices and spices added. So spices upon spices. Anyway, I made my way yesterday to the running store in my town. It's uh, newly opened. I guess they're open maybe about a year. And I didn't get there last, I didn't get there in the summer when we were here. And so I was able to pick up some stuff. And here's one of the things, half eaten, but it's uh, the Cliff Shot. I'm trying this. I usually got, like to go with natural food. But, uh, you know, it's tough on marathon distance runs, so I really have to work out a good nutrition program. These are, are kind of, um, it's difficult because you have to chew and make sure you, I'm, I'm scared. I don't want to choke on these things. So I might go with the goose for my marathon in March, but I am trying these things out. They come in little little blocks, and I think a whole packet of these would be 200 calories because there's says the serving size is three pieces and there are six pieces in here. So yeah, this whole thing is 200 calories. So you need one of these per hour basically. It's a lot of eating to do. I might go with the goose though. I got these blocks in four different flavors and I got the goose in four different flavors. I also bought some Body Glide and I really wanted to check out the Fat 
tire, I think they're called, the Michelin um, bottoms with the Armor All. Is it Armor All? That's, that's something you put on your tires. The Under Armor sneaker. It's for trail running. It's, it's a maximal cushion shoe, but they didn't have it in the branch that I went to. I should have went to another town, the, the, um, their sister store in Emmaus. The Emmaus run in, they do have them. And they start at eight, so I don't know if they would have even fit me, even if I got over there to get them. But that's why I went. And I ended up just picking up the cliff blocks and the, I gotta edit this later, <laughs> and the glide. And that stuff cost me $18. Man, what's going on with that? Anyway, I'm having my grilled veggie wrap right now enjoying that a lot because I ran a half marathon distance so I can just eat and eat and eat did that this morning talk to you soon looks like Rupp is gonna win the US marathon Olympic marathon trials here with maybe Meb and Ward coming in second and third here he comes down the home his first ever marathon, grinning from ear to ear. Gavin Rock turning for home, Meb, will once again be on a U.S. Olympic team. Has already taken the American flag, the Stars and Stripes, as he celebrates again his fourth Olympic team. Incredible. By the time they get to Rio, he will be 41 years old. Meb Kaplinski in second place. Whoa!